I spray it a little bit. I get rid of those vines. Once they dry, they, they can't get rid of them. See right there? Starting to dry. So then you can't get rid of them. I mix them a blue and green together. And this is a darker version. I do a lot of spraying, as you know. I like things to have been impressed in this day. And uh, when you spray it, you watch what the watercolor does. And um, it really does pretty things. And I decided I'm changing a lot of it. So, here goes. Here goes what you call um, changing your mind on things. And uh, I changed my mind on this because I'm going to go into more darker colors. I'm just using the colors um, the ultramarine blue and the green and the violet mixed. These are our strong colors. Now I'm going to turn it back this way again. I'm going to work on that by myself because otherwise I'll have such a long tape. See what happens with, with the watercolor? It's so, you know, when you paint like this, you don't have anything special in mind. You just kind of go with what the paint does. And uh, that's about what I'm doing right now. I'm just letting the paint do what it wants to do. It's a little bit more difficult because you don't have time to think, uh, do I want it like this or what do you do with a mess? I'm going to use some white up here. I mean, when you have a mess, then you have to make another mess. So this is a good lesson for you. When you make a mess, then you gotta figure out. I didn't. I changed it. <laughs> As you can see, I turned it upside down. I didn't like what was going on. Now I can go back. My thoughts are... Spray this. Like this. like the way others going. Let me tell you, sometimes when you're painting, you say, oh, I don't like this. You either paint over it, or you just turn it around any other way and put paint on it. See what you can find. Now, I like this as an abstract better than the other one. And, um, and it's dry. I have put some white, I turned around the other way, and I've been using my B2 
white down here. And I let it dry. I can paint color over it. Um, I did, this is an experiment. But this is a burnt sand and an offering blue. This kind of brown. Put it down here. I got some white in this, I'm going to put that here. You see how you can experiment with this thing and see if we can work it out so it looks like something. I'm not sure that I can do it on this, but um, I'm going to give it a try. I've been doing a little bit of the work on, on my own because otherwise it's going to take so long. And I'm going to use plain water now. I'm going to come in here, spread this white, sort of around. Um, it'll dry transparent. If you do it with water like this. I have to lighten it up. Because if I don't lighten it up, how can I get anywhere? See how white this? Now if I had this, I wasn't that taping it. I could spend a lot of time doing a lot of details and stuff like that. When you're taping it, it's a little harder to do. But see, now I've got it lighten, lighten up. Lighten this over, over here. That light's starting to dry. I still have some trees over there. I'm using green water. Kind of soften it down. Now it's beginning to look more like like a painting. And if you want to buy this, you have to order it special. It's called Bleed Proof White. comes in a little jar like this. And um, it's very, uh, it covers things. It covers things up. If you use it full force, I'm not using it full force right now. I'm just kind of okay in what I'm going to do with this over here. Okay, now another thing you can do when you put the white on, you can kind of spray it like this. Makes it give you a little bit of texture, and you'll get probably a bit of that. But this painting, if I get the trees in here, some trees in here, shadows, uh, that's going to be the job. And so I'm going to work on those trees. <laughs> 